Hello and welcome. So, a little while ago now, it was a couple of months back in June, I designed a little bee. This little guy. But he's so small, you can't really squeeze him. So, I was like, okay, I know, I know how to fix this. I'll make him bigger. And so, I did. Here we have the bee made with the single strand, uh, made with the 3.5 millimeter hook. So when I went, I doubled the hook size, the double strand and ended up with this fellow. Still not big enough. So I knew yarn management would be key for a project like this with this many active strands, because I think I was up to 12 at one point that I was having to swap between. Uh, so. I sort of rigged this system with, I was, I'm, I'm lucky enough to have like this set of wire shelves that sort of branch up and around my workspace. And so uh, I don't know if you've ever seen those like overlocker sewing machines that have like the, the cotton going up and around and through. Well, that's the basic principle of what I, what I had going here. Yeah, so basically that helped me catch any tangles any uh, early and it also it sort of stopped the yarns. I don't know if you've ever used multiple strands, but like they tend to go like, uh, and, and tangle each other up. Yarn doesn't like being on its own, it just all wants to be together in a big yarny, cuddly, tangle nonsense thing, which is not helpful, and so you have to keep it separated at all costs. When it came to the eyes on the larger bee, I knew I was going to have to take a different approach to the previous ones. On the smaller bee, I was able to use hard plastic safety eyes, which are really, really cute, and I, I wish that I could find a pair big enough, but I just wasn't able to. What I did is I mapped out exactly what I wanted the eyes to look like. I didn't want them to come out like middle bee, which were very creepy looking. I wanted them to have a sort of a nicer feel to them, and I didn't mind if she came out a little more queen bee than just sort of baby bee.
the next step in the process was to make all the legs. I tend to make creatures that have a lot of legs and this, this chunky fellow is no exception. So here is the quickest possible cut I could put together of making six legs. So here we are at the end of making those six legs, which is basically most of the crochet actually done at this point. And this is what I had left of the four new balls of gray yarn that I started with. And I just thought it was really interesting to see exactly how much variation there is from ball to ball. Try to ignore the handmade bandage in the corner there. I took a hooked needle to the thumb. Uh, you might say I should be more careful. Right, so I did have to make some adjustments when it came to the wings on this guy, So, because I didn't want to use wire. I wanted him to be just big and chunky and squeezable, and I didn't want any nasty pokey bits. So I skipped any wire that would have otherwise gone into the making of the legs. Uh, I skipped any wire, and I didn't want to use wire on the wings or the antenna either. For the wings, I tried a couple of different things to try and sort of give it tension anyway, but in the end, what I just ended up doing is a flat piece uh, with some stitch embellishment on there, and I sort of sewed that on like a little bee cape, uh, as, opposed to, as opposed to wings. Uh, the wings are smaller proportionally than the, on the little ones, where we're just imagining she's a bit of a queen bee, and she doesn't really need her wings, and so she has her little cape instead. she is. Okay, so I 
am not a short person. I am 5'8", which is not, not tall, but not short either. And she is huge. And she is wonderful. She's so, there's an entire pillow in here. A whole pillow. She's a pillow. So just as a real size comparison here. The quadruple strand, so the four strand one right here. Here we have the little single strand guy. Plonk. And there's him. And then just to show you a size comparison with the double strand guy. There we are, we have double the size. The pattern that I used today is available. There is a link in the description. All right, everyone, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing if you want to see more. Leave me a comment to tell me what I should do next. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.